Daniela from OpenCell again, and welcome to another session on Station B of our Contain unit. Now, if you haven't already watched my previous video on how to set up, calibrate, and start the RNA extraction protocol on your OT2 robot, then I recommend going back and doing that before you watch this. If you already have, then this video will give you an overview of each stage of the automated Station B protocol. The Station B protocol broadly aims to take a viral sample, bind the sample RNA onto magnetic beads, and use a series of washes to remove any cellular debris or contaminants. After this, the isolated RNA will be eluded, ready for reverse transcriptase qPCR in Station C. Now this RNA extraction happens over eight stages undertaken by the OT2 robot. The first stage is the addition of isopropanol to the samples. 320 microliters of isopropanol will be taken from slot 8 and added to each sample well in slot 9. The sample will be pipetted up and down to mix properly. After all the sample wells have been mixed with isopropanol, the silica coated magnetic beads will now be added to the sample plate. 40 microliters of magnetic beads from column 9 in slot 8 will be deposited to each sample well. Once again, this is mixed by pipetting up and down. At this point, the magnet is turned on. The magnetic beads will subsequently be pulled to the side of the well where the magnet is. While the magnet is on and the beads are held in place, the supernamed can be removed and discarded as all the RNA will be bound to our beads. The first washing stage is done with 400 microliters of isopropanol. For each wash, the process is as follows. The magnet is turned off, isopropanol is then added, the solution is then mixed by pipetting up and down, the magnet is then turned on to attract the beads to one side of the well, and then the supernamed is discarded. Now comes the multiple rounds of ethanol washes. 200 microliters of ethanol from slot 6 will be added to each sample well in the same way that was done for the isopropanol wash. This will be repeated four times. The wash stages are very thorough to remove any contaminations as this determines the purity of your final RNA sample. The beads are not allowed to dry. This is done by constant pipetting of air over the beads for 35 minutes. After the beads are completely dry, we can elute the RNA. While the magnet is turned off, 40 microliters of nucleus-free water from column 5 in slot 8 can be transferred to each sample well. This will then be mixed for 5 minutes. In the final stage, the magnet will be turned on and 40 microliters of the supernamed will be transferred to the 96 wall plate in slot 1. At this point, the supernamed contains the valuable RNA that we just extracted. This PCR plate can now be used in station C for qPCR analysis. If the samples are not immediately used in station C, they can either be stored at negative 20 degrees Celsius short term or negative 80 degrees Celsius long term. 